3D rotation of 2D images. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Stability AI has released a new model that allows you to rotate 2D images. Today I'm going to show you a very easy way how to do that. Shout out to Matteo for helping me with the technical details. Let's get started. So the first thing you need here is to go to Hugging Face and download this model here. You see here's the download link. It's called Stable0123 from Stability AI. Next, we're already heading over to ComfyUI, and this is just the best way to start using the newest technologies because it can be done with nodes created by the community. One of the nodes here is actually created by Matteo, and it allows us to have incremental rotation around the object. Now, of course, what you want to do here is to load this workflow and then go to the ComfyUI manager and you install here the missing nodes. Very easy. Afterwards, restart ComfyUI and all of this should be here. Now, to download the workflow, you can actually go to my profile here on OpenArt AI. You can download it here and then use it inside of your ComfyUI. So all of that is very, very simple. And I've actually implemented for you two different methods here. One is to actually just create one image with the rotation. So when we drag this over here, you can see that we have the frog, but now he's in a different position. We have him lower and also more from the front. And then I have a second process here that is going on down here. This is creating a number of images and then using video combine to make this into a video. So let's go step by step into what is happening here. We're loading an image. You can see here that this image has the background removed. For that, I want to suggest to you the website RemoveBG. I will link it below the video. And here you can actually just upload an image and then it is thinking about it a little bit. And as you can see, it has removed the background. You can download the small resolution here for free, 500 by 500 pixels. That's more than enough for us. We're going back into ComfyUI and here I have my image only checkpoint loader. Now this is important because here we have an output of a model, a clip vision and also a VAE. We need the clip vision output. This is why we need this node. Now here we have the node from Matteo. What this does is it creates increments, which means you can create a number of images and then it is changing the rotation by the amount you want to have. So here you can see I've set this to a batch size of 24. The resolution is 256 by 256. You can also try a lower resolution, but not really a higher resolution because this is what the model is trained on. Then you can set here the base elevation and base azimuth, which is the rotation around the object. And then here the increment of how strongly this should rotate to the side or to the elevation. You can set positive or negative values here. This is then going into a case sampler. I have tried different sampling methods. I find that Euler works pretty good. You can also try other methods. The benefit of Euler is it's rendering pretty fast. In this case, we're using Euler together with the Keras scheduler. I'm using here a low CFG of three. You can also go a little bit higher for five or six. And then I have 30 steps here, VAE decode. And as you can see here, this is giving me an overview grid in my safe image preview here with all of the images together. And then I have also the VAE decode connected to my video combine. Now here you can actually combine as many images as you want. It doesn't have to be 24. You can also make 48 or anything else. The only downside here is that the more you rotate, the more this will change from the original shape, especially if it's a complex shape. So you can see we have some mutation here, especially in the back. We have all these kind of different lines in here. And this is going backwards forwards because here you have a ping pong option that I have set to true. And this gives me this nice GIF file here. You can also change, of course, the format to other output formats if you want to. 
And now let's look at the second process. Again, we're loading the image. We're loading the model down here, of course. And here we have the stable 0, 1, 2, 3 conditioning. This is part also of the normal Conf UI nodes. And here again, we have very similar settings. We have only one image as a batch output. We have here an elevation. In this case, you can see it's negative. So we are going lower with the camera and the azimuth is also a negative rotation. And then again, we have here the K sampler, same settings, VAE decode. And this is where this image here is coming from. So that we have a rotation where we see the frog more from the front and more from below. That's it already, my friends. Check out the links below the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.